everybody. Welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me today. So it's 10 degrees outside. Uh, a little chilly to be working outside. It's supposed to get up to in the 30s uh, this afternoon, so we're going to go do some fence and uh, see what else we can get done as the weather's nice this afternoon instead of this morning. So uh, today we are going to work in the shop this morning. Um, wasn't going to do a video, and I thought, well, you know what? Uh, a while back I was looking for a way to make some cheap fence posts uh, for electric fence, and uh, I thought, well, Maybe you guys might want to see it. Uh, maybe some of you know, and some of you don't know. Um, but you can go to like Tractor Supply or Orschlands and you can buy a 3 8 by 48 inch uh, rod for fence post. Now they got the little triangle on the bottom, which really doesn't do anything. Um, they just break off. So we don't run those, but I think it's like, geez, like a dollar and a half or something like that, a fence post, almost $2. And uh, we found a way to make them cheaper, uh, a little more work involved doing them yourself. But what we do is we go to uh, Menards and they have 3 8 inch by 20 foot rebar. So we'll buy bulk of that and then we'll bring it back to the shop and we'll cut them. Uh, instead of using a saw and cutting one by one or, I mean, if you have a band saw, that'd work great. We do not. But what we found out works the best is using the plasma cutter. Uh, what we do is we line up a bunch in a row and then we will take the plasma cutter and we'll just go along, measure four foot off, and we'll go from one side to the other and cut them all off. Works super easy, super quick. Uh, you would think it'd leave a really big burr on the end. It does not. Uh, it's still easy to hit. It's no issue at all. So we do that. You can, Menard sells a 20 foot rod of 3 8 uh, I think it's roughly like four, 450 a rod, and you can get five four foot rods out of that. So about 80, 85 cents a rod instead of your dollar 60. So you have way less money into it. By the time you buy an insulated fencer, you have just over a buck into each rod. Um, a lot better off than doing it, buying pre-cut and everything if you have the time and you're willing to do it. So here we go. Once we check where we want them, we'll go through them. Like I said, make sure they're flat and they're all tight together. Then we'll put a bar on top, and that will be our guide with the plasma cutter. There's a little bit of burrs left on them. But uh, one swing with the hammer, 
and it will be gone. Here's a close up. So like I said, we just got like a two inch piece of metal down here on the bottom. We set all the rebar on top of it. And then we set a piece on top for the plasma cutter to follow. Uh, we got a piece of scrap down here so we don't ruin the concrete. But we did 70. Uh, we just need about 350 posts worth. So we got 70 rods here. As you, I mean, you can do as many as you want or as little as you want as a time. Well, thanks for tagging along with me, guys. I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. If you have not, feel free to do so as we bring a video every week. Uh, sometimes, too, it just depends on how busy we are. So try and show you everything and how farms work and uh, how ranching works, how livestock, um, all kinds of stuff. So follow along with me and hope to see you next time.